Hey guys, Dogden here, and welcome back to a new video. Let's react to our League One predictions, Dogdad. How wrong are we? Oh, very, very wrong, Theo. You're going to find out how bad we were. How many likes are we going for? I want to get 10,000 oh, likes. Let's go for 9,700. Why not 10K? Okay, get 10K. Get that fifth figure. Come on, where are we starting? We're starting, Theo, on the way to a million subscribers. So Ooh. all of you out there, please subscribe. Listen, if you can help and you're not yet subscribed, apparently half the viewers that watch this video, 50%, haven't yet subbed. So make that a change and let's start with this. Let's start with Accrington Stanley. Who are they? Theo, you said 21st. Yeah. I said 16th. They were 12th and I tell you what that is solid in the middle but defensively 80 goals conceded yeah they don't have an expensive team it's mostly free transfers and other loans that they brought in but I've got to be honest Ross Sykes solid centre back this season McConville on the wing absolute creator something like 17 assists yes. I didn't expect that so fair play to Accrington Stanley they had a good year I tell you what John Coleman the manager he's been there about 8 years yes. that's ridiculous loyalty and he's still getting better AFC Wimbledon 20th 22nd they they were 23rd and relegated a miserable season uh, for the lads out there. I've got a bone to pick with AFC Wimbledon. It's very serious. 2022, not a single win. Ooh. I predicted you to survive in 20th and you let me down. My prediction was going to be correct. All it took was, you know, a couple wins and they didn't win once in a whole year. I know, 19 draws, Theo, six wins all season. If that's the sort of form you've got, you're going down. Look, it's a young team and they're relegated, so best of luck in League Two. It was so close to being spot on. Bolton Wanderers Football Club of Lancashire, Theo, you said seventh. I yep. said ninth. They were ninth. I know my club, but it was a, a <laughs> tale of two halves of the season, wasn't it, Theo? It was. First half was poor, and then we were good in 2022. Actually, I think there was a bit of bias putting seventh and ninth because from the first half of the season, we looked awful, and the actual squad we had wasn't good enough to get anywhere near playoffs. We were on more of a relegation fight than anything. It all changed around in January, didn't it, Thogdad? It did. We brought a few players in. We've got to mention James Trafford. He's oh, your twin, Theo. He's the main one, but Marlon Fossey, yes. Dog Dad's favourite player. Aaron Morley, who had a cracking season. Bod Vars and Dion Charles. I mean, that's an incredible January chance winner. We finally got the budget that we needed to kick on. And we were, from the last 20 games, third in the league. We picked up 42 points from 20. That's really good. That is good. 20 goals, 20 goals back at Yoko. He got 10 a goals guy. and five assists, 20 goals next season. Well, I, I think, think in all competitions, 20 contributions back at Yoko, Dog Dad. So that's that pretty good true. as well. Next season, I'm looking forward to it. Seriously. Ian Everett's going to stay. I'm sure of that. If we could bring back Treff and Fossey, we're getting promoted. Simple as that. I know it's unfortunate that we missed out on playoffs. We had a 10-point deficit. But seeing the three big teams of Wigan, Rotherham and Sunderland get promoted, it offers an opportunity for the Whites. It does. Ricardo Santos, yeah. one of the team of the season New players. contract as well, which Brilliant. is great to see. So we're going in the right direction. Come on, Bolton. And everyone out there, so you're talking too much about Bolton. Yes, we are. We are. It's our club. It's our club. And we're going up. Burton Albion, the home of beer. You said 13th. I said 15th. They were 16th. Now, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank is the manager. Probably not too pleased. Somewhat. Please. It's not think the so. finish we expected, but it's mid-table. I was so surprised when I did my research. Umar Nias played for them. He was at Everton in the Premier League just like a year and a half ago, and now he's in League One. But well, he didn't even do that great. But where did Burton go from here? Is mm. it survival every year, Theo, yeah, or they need, what? They need a squad rerun, get some new boys in, and just go again for playoffs next season. Is it possible? There's always a chance. Cambridge United were promoted last season, yep. but Theo, you said 23rd. I said 23rd. They were 14th. And Jeez. one reason for that, Sam Smith. I thought they were a singer. 15 <laughs> goals, Theo. Yeah, unbelievable. Wes Houlihan proved us wrong again, didn't he? Absolutely, Theo. Shout out to Mark Bonner, the manager. One of five managers aged 36. Now, that's an interesting fact. And shout out to him for letting Jack Eardell go to Bolton Wanderers next season. Captain on the last day. Their left back, one of their best players. He's coming to the Whites and he's an Aussie. So he loves a prawn on the barbie. Charlton Athletic of South London. They were seventh last season. So you said sixth. I said sixth. They were 13th. Not yeah. good enough, Theo. And I tell you what, I saw them at home to Bolton. We thrashed them 4-1. I wasn't impressed. Charlton's manager is 39 years old, which makes him half the age Thog Dad is here. How does that make you feel? Theo, that is so rude. No, it's not rude, it's true. Where did Charlton go from here, Theo? I don't know. To be honest, we expected a playoff spot and they were nowhere near it, so I'm sorry, Charlton fans. But how is Connor Washington still a professional football? I swear that guy has been at every football league club under the sun. Cheltenham Town, 22nd, 21st. They were actually 15th, Theo, and they were yeah. promoted last season, and they stayed up. Not 
not too bad. And there's one player we need to talk about. Big up Rob who does the thumbnails. He's not far from Cheltenham. We have to speak about Alfie May, don't yes, we? Yes, yes. Because what he did against City when they went 1-0 up in the cup, yeah. that was an incredible story. The way he was like ran Foden at the end, he was loving yeah. it. He actually had a good year in League One, didn't he? Theo, 23 goals, 4 assists. It's more than a good year. This yeah. is a lad who's played in so many non-league teams. Then why did they finish 15th? Because I suppose there wasn't enough in the tank elsewhere. Theo. You can't rely on one player. If they hold on to him and bring some other players around him, maybe they can kick on next year. Crew Alexandra, 15th, 17th. They were 24th. That is a one-way train to relegation, yep. isn't it, Theo? Not good enough. No, ex Bolton boy Chris Long with 10 goals. Yeah. But it still wasn't enough. Rock bottom of the table. It's a young side, and maybe they'll kick on in the future. Maybe League Two is good for them because they've got a good academy. It's always been pretty good, you know, with the youth. It's famous for its academy, Theo, but last season, Crew were 12th. This is yeah. a really topsy turvy league, well, like isn't I say, it? Like I said, it's a young team. They've got Yaskaline and he never really kicked yeah. on. We were speaking about him when we were actually doing our predictions, and yeah, he didn't have enough game time. So maybe in League Two, we'll get more of a get more of an opportunity. Doncaster Rovers of Yorkshire, 14th, 14th. They were 22nd, Theo. Yes. They were relegated. They were. Now, there was a mini fight back at the end, but it was too little, too late. Yeah, relegated. We backed them, didn't we? we 82 did. goals conceded is way too many. It's shocking. I'm simply going to have to move on. Sorry, Doncaster Rovers fans. Fleetwood Town. It's the home of the fisherman's friend, Lossage. Have you ever tried those, Theo? No, I haven't. Good, good. Actually, it's great for a cold. Seriously. Anyway, moving on. Good for 17th. Cold. Yeah, have you got a cold? You have a fisherman's friend. Didn't it, what is it? Is it a drink? Food? No, it's a lozenge. It's a little oh, sweet. Oh, right, I see. Okay, I have no idea what you're on about. 17th. Yes. I said 20th. They were 20th. Oh, you I got, got it right. right. They survived on goal difference. On the final day, even though we batted them 4-2. Yes. I mean, they survived. That's the main thing. Gillingham, 19th, 12th. 12th. They were 21st. Theo, then they, you got the numbers, Rick Chung. They dropped from you about mug. 10th or 11th to 21st. That is ridiculous. They were the lowest okay. scoring team in the league. 35 goals. Not good enough. Yeah, relegated on points difference. If they just picked up a point on the final day, they could have found a way. But Neil Harris, a man yeah. that's you know, known for the championship, managed Millwall for some time, is now in League Two. Ipswich Town, and this is where we both get embarrassed because before the season, I spoke to my mate Hugo, big Ipswich fan. He's oh. like, oh, we're going up. You said second. I said they'd win the league, Theo. First place, they were eleventh. Because what place. happened, Theo? New owners, yeah. a lot of money came into a new squad, and it didn't. They didn't gel, did they? You got one right, but you just need another one by that position. Yeah, you yeah. Thanks correct. for that. Thanks for that. Unlucky, mate. Theo, we'll do the score tally at the end. Kieran McKenna came in, and that is a manager, Northern Irish. He was at the Manchester United system. He's come in, and he's actually turned it round. The form has been a lot better. The bookies are backing them to actually get promoted next season. So that's massive. I think Ippy are on the up. Theo, back in the day, I'm talking 1970s, Ipswich were one of the biggest teams in the country. Yeah. They had some absolutely incredible players. Yeah, no, this, this season, is good enough, is it? This season they should have done better. Burst and Selina, baller. Connor Chaplin has done it in the championship. Wes Burns, back in... I mean, mate, I'm telling you, they've had a poor year considering the squad depth compared to the rest of the league. They need to improve. Lincoln City, the Imps, 9th, 11th. They were 17th, oh. Theo. And last well, season, they were 5th. 9th and 11th and 17th is all in the mid-table stretch. No, so we got it wrong, No, it's Theo. all in the mid-table stretch. Liam Bridcut can produce wonders, and it didn't really work out. But last season, we drove all the way up there. And they were we good, did. weren't they, we against did. Bolton? They created a real atmosphere. It's the fans. It's the fans. They need to get behind them again. Milton, Keynes, Dons, MK Dons, 11th, 13th. They were third, Theo. Oh, oh my goodness. So close to automatic promotion. How wrong did we get this? Well, I'll tell you what. Scotty Twine surprise. Yeah. 20 goals and 13 assists. Newport County legend. Well, I don't even know if he is or not. But <laughs> it doesn't change away from the fact he played for them. And Scotty Twine was in the team of the season. And you know quite what? Right. You know I feel bad for Milton Keen Dons, MK Don. Who says Milton Keen Don? Well, congratulations, it's a city now. But you were one point off an automatic spot. You go into playoffs with the most points, you had a great season. The lads are tired. And then you get knocked out by Wickham in a very tight game. It's unfortunate for him because they were very good over a whole season. Morecambe promoted last season, 24th, 24th. They were 19th but were and they? comfortably survived. But were they, Thogdad? Go on, why not? I don't know, actually. We both predicted bottom of the table and they survived. Actually, we've got to give them a little bit of credit, but I won't give them credit for that away fixture that we went to. Oh, I know. Theo, that was but... just a horrible encounter. I hope next season it's not the same. Yeah, but Cole Stockton, Theo, 23 goals and oh, four the assists. Way he, Team no, of the I'm season. Not, I'm, not, I'm not giving him credit. The Why way not? He celebrated when he went to Bolton. Oxford United, you said 12th, I yeah, said 10th. They I were 8th. They're always there or thereabouts. And they were the joint top scorers in the league with 82 yeah. goals. I think when Bolton played and we won 3-2, but Billy Bodden stood out for me with two goals. Cameron Brannigan, I think his name is. Them two are solid. They've got a good team. They play through at the back. 
you know, I think next season they could really go for it. Yeah, they've got Matty Taylor, 20 goals and mm. two assists. They're a good team every year, but can they make the leap? I mean, they were sixth, then they were eighth. Can they make the jump? Plymouth Argyle, 18th, 19th. They were seventh, a poor end to the season, and Pieface was in tears, wasn't he, Theo? Well, they started so well. They were laughing in Bolton's face. Pieface was... I don't know, having a party. <laughs> Ryan Lowe left in December, Schumacher came in, and actually he started off with an amazing job. I think it was perfect form in March, but come the end of the season, Thogdad, I think it was seven games, one win, and they just fell just below the playoff spot, unfortunately. Shout out to Ryan Hardy, though. 16 goals for the yeah. Scottish lad. And they had a great story against Chelsea in the Cup. Didn't they not score until the 107th minute or something? They held them out really well. 6,000 Plymouth fans, that's something else. Portsmouth now, you said fourth, I said fourth. They were 10th, Leo, and I think they were eighth last season. Danny Cowley, the manager, won't be pleased with Should that. Should be doing a better job with those players. Ronan Curtis is the only one who had a decent season. Rotherham United, you said fifth, I said seventh, they were second. And I'll tell you what, the best defence in the league, 33 goals conceded. And I would say they were one of the two best teams I saw Absolutely. this season. And they turned it round against Bolton. Like, I was speaking to some of the players and they were saying they wanted their gaffer out. And I swear after Bolton, they did incredible against us and went on some insane run. Barlasa, Michael Smith, Ben Wiles, yeah. Iqui. I mean, they've got a really talented squad there and made it work with three at the back. They real dominate using the flanks. So, well done to Rotherham. You are one of the best teams in League One and you got promoted. Good luck in the Championship. Absolutely. Michael Smith, 19 goals and six assists. What they did against us, Theo, two early goals and shut up shot. Yeah. Really well drilled. But they nearly threw away automatics at the end. Only 14 points from 10 games. I mean, they were being caught up from MK Dons and then they bottled it in the playoffs. So mental end to the season. Sheffield Wednesday relegated last season because of a six-point deduction. You said third, I said second. They were fourth and missed out in the playoffs. But Theo, uh, who impressed for you? They impressed me throughout the season. The ex-Bolton boys, Scottish lad, Barry Bannon. He's too good for League One. I've always said this. And the fact they didn't get promoted with players like him surprises me, really. And I watched them in that playoff semi-final. Sunderland were leading from the first leg. And Sheffield Wednesday brought it back in the second and it was everything to play for until Patrick Roberts scored at the end. Really unfortunate. They've just, they've worked so hard throughout the year to get all the points in. I think the football they play is seriously good. I think next season they're going to win the league. Yeah, Barry Bannon, he was at Bolton for a while. This season he got nine goals and 12 assists. He used to be at Celtic. We also got to mention Lee Gregory, Theo. 17 goals and five assists mm. for the veteran striker. Yeah, they were battering teams. It's crazy how they didn't go up. Shrewsbury Town, 16th, 18th. They were 18th. I've got one right, Theo. Now, they were pretty good at the back. Yeah. Didn't score enough goals. Probably. I've got to thank Shrewsbury. You know why I thought that? Why is that? Because they created a special moment for Bolton Wanderers when Dion Charles scored that volley yeah. in the last minute. Sunderland, you said they'd win the league. Theo, you should have listened to your dad. I said fifth and no, they no, no, were no, no. fifth. I recall asking you, do you think Sunderland will get promoted through playoffs? And you said no. No, I've been you saying all season to league Sunderland one. fans. No, 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 no. League no, one no. predictions. Go watch the video. I ask you on that. Fuck dad. You think they'll make playoffs? They're going up. And I think, I think they'll bottle it again. You look like a I right didn't mark. say I that. I said Sunderland get promoted and they got it. Honestly, I it's going to be and a I was scandal. There. I was there at Wembley. Were you there? Sorry, were you there at Wembley when they got promoted? Blah, were you there blah, in the blah. video? No, you didn't turn up. You didn't bother. Theo, Ross Stewart, 26 goals and three assists. He got the joint golden boot. And I tell you what, just being capped for Scotland. I think I brought the Mackham's lot this year. I was there for the Patrick Roberts winner against Sheffield Wednesday and the playoff final. I was also there when we battered them at Theo, home. why don't you and Sunderland just get Actually, a room? we were there when their manager got sacked and they brought in Alex Neal. And if it wasn't for Bolton battering them, they wouldn't have brought him in. And Alex Neal's been an incredible job so we forced them into that move and that's the reason they got promoted so thank Bolton later they never lose with Nathan Broadhead we all know the statistic and Alex Pritchard what a season he had I thought that free kick was in in the playoff final Wigan Athletic I'd rather eat a pasty than a pie eighth third they were first and I'll tell you what and I hate saying this they were the best team in the league this season 82 goals joint highest scorers there I got it wrong I just really enjoyed that moment when we were at Wigan we were 1-0 down and then we scored that equaliser and it was limbs in the away end Will Keane 26 goals yeah. and 7 assists for the Republic of Ireland international his goal conversion rate there better than ML Smith Rowe better than Hung Min Sun 35% Callum Lang 15 yeah. goals 7 assists I hate saying all this but Wigan were good they were alright but next season they'll probably get relegated 
and Bolton, I'm sure, were getting promoted. Wickham Wanderers finally 10th, 8th, they were 6th. And yep. Gareth Ainsworth nearly been in a job 10 years. Mm. What's going on there, Theo? Well, first of all, let's get straight to the facts. Vokes signed a new contract, yeah. which is massive for them. He's had an incredible season. Really sad to see Akin Fenwa go. Yeah. He's a football icon, but, you know, he's getting on. Too big for football, they said, and he has had an unreal career. But Tafazoli, the centre-back, Real good season, and I love his YouTube channel. But, Theo, there's one more thing we need to do. It's called the points tally, yeah? No, we don't need to and do this. And you get one point for every one. You're wrong. All I want Thogden, is 10,000 likes, you scored and I am leaving 134. Likes, and Thogdad uh, got 112. I beat you by 22. He's trying to drown me out. I beat him by 22. I'm the king of predictions. 10,000 likes, go. and I'll give away a Bolton shirt. See ya.